What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Ayers, and I'm here with Mr. Lee Sambrano, and we are back with another episode of Parental Composure. And before we get started, today's bro- uh, podcast is brought to you by the Children's Heart Foundation, uh, the, Dem- the Denver Congenital Heart Walk, devoted to raising money to advance the diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of congenital heart defects by funding the most promising research. Join the Children's Heart Foundation the week of September 14th through the 20th. Think that think those dates are right. Don't quote me on that. But you know what? Let's get started. All and right. today we have our friends are back, Jake and Mike. Guys, great to have you back. Hello. Hello. Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. And for our audience who are who don't remember because it's been a hellish last couple months. Um <laughs> They are the authors of their first book, Lily and Tim's Super Awesome Incredible COVID-19 Birthday. I did it again. Yes. And, and then, this is their second book. Woo-hoo. Absolutely. <laughs> go back yeah. to sc- Lily and Timmy. Go back to school. Guys, how? I, I, I'm just going to ask you the question. How did you get this done in such little time? I wasn't expecting to talk to you guys till like after the new year or something like Seriously. that. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> You guys got to work um, fast on that. We we did. First of all, can I say, it looks like Mike just woke up. Mike Farrell. <laughs> I, did, I did just wake up. I did just wake up. Hey, That's right, why I was rubbing my eyes. Right in the beginning. Right, as they were excited over you, you're like this. <laughs> no, I know. I, was, I think I was he just woke up. I was considering getting eye drops and just doing it like during his thing, just putting in eye drops. You're like, what was this guy doing last night? That's I, hilarious. I, we're, we're just, we're I those children out there. I would love it if we looked over and you were literally just like, <laughs> <laughs> like you just crashed out. That would have been a great interview. Yeah, that would have Mike been. laying on the couch. Yeah, good like, intro. Oh. Yeah. They just they just uh, talked to Jake about uh, my uh, my bad habits. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> nice. Uh, all right. Well, h- how did we? What was, how did we do it so quick? Um, that's a good question. We uh, we wanted to get ahead of the news curve, so we were thinking of all sorts of uh, all sorts of storylines. Our first idea was to do like a summer vacation. Lily and Timmy go on a steeply discounted cruise we wanted to do that put them on the carnival cruise line that uh all the cruise lines have been shut down because of covid and then we ended up doing um back to school because what's more relevant than back to school so we yeah we wanted to do a second book we we didn't think we would do it so quick but because a lot of people were requesting it we uh thought we'd put the creative juices to play and and we wrote it super fast per usual like stories come really quick to jake and i it's it's really the illustrations that uh that take the take a longer time but but yeah the whole process probably took us like maybe five weeks what yeah <laughs> that is yeah. crazy dang you guys are on fire that's awesome well, I think that yeah. you're right in the sense that, I mean, this was the next big thing. This is the next big thing. All these kids have been through, you know, the quarantine process, and now everybody is looking forward to school. Um, I know my kids have started. Mike, your kids have started. It's been something we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks now. Yes, it has. So once again, great job at bringing some humor to a maybe not you know, so fun and humorous experience for kids. I mean, because, you know, we all know some kids aren't actually at school. They're actually in home, you know, doing their schooling and stuff. And so for all you parents out there watching this, please, you know, look into getting this book. Just like the super awesome, incredible COVID-19 birthday, you guys have a great way of bringing some humor to some hard (laughs) situations, I think, for everybody. Thank Um, you. So let's go into like some of the the pictures because I mean, you guys do great job at your at your uh, writing books. But um, also Federico Verde, he does a great job at these illustrations. So um, incredible. Yes. And I mean, you know, the second book, it doesn't even 
lack anything. It just, it gets better. You know, I mean, sometimes the second project cannot be like as exciting. Your guys is, is not that at all. It's amazing. And um, so let's go to number um, four. Did you guys order? Yeah, I think, yeah. So number four, that's with the, there we go. <laughs> Why don't you guys explain <laughs> this, this picture to us, this illustration? Let me look. Oh my gosh. So Mike, do you want me to explain it? Yeah, go for it. We both, so, we both know I'm worthless this morning. So why don't you go ahead and, <laughs> and, uh, and handle that one. I don't even know. I don't even know why Mike's here. Can we just get rid of Mike? Can we, can we send Mike off to bed? I go to bed. Da, da, da. Hey, your next inspiration for a book. Bedtime. Yeah. Jacob <laughs> Lily puts Mike to bed. <laughs> next, next yeah. book. It's like, I think this got a little creepy. Um, I don't know about so these you, guys anymore. So, so, so you wrote a book about one adult male putting another adult <laughs> male to sleep? Uh, yeah. It's pretty these awkward. Very similar to the two of you. No, 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 yeah, yeah, um, all right. So this picture here. So mom is bringing the kids to. I don't know why I'm pointing at my computer. By the way, I'm like. So this is what's happening in this picture. Um, so the mom is bringing the children to their first day of first grade, and of course, the dad is along for the ride, and he's got something else. I'm not. I don't want to tell you what he has planned, but he's got something else planned. And he jumps out of the car on the way to take them to school. And of course he says, oh, by the way, kids, I made you something and let me show you. And he pulls his belt out. And you remember in the first book, yeah. dad was always making sure with the tape measure that everybody was six <laughs> you know, away from each other. Well, dad has created a, a bit of a contraption clearly here <laughs> that's supposed to shoot out six feet in every way but it doesn't look like he uh, timed it very correctly <laughs> because he hits children in the face with his tape measures on this. But yeah, this is one of my favorite pictures. That is awesome. And the mom's face in the front. Oh yeah. <laughs> is that the mom? Yeah. I think we've, I think we've all seen mom's face like that before. Yes. For yes. sure. That's very relatable. We need to, we need yeah. to throw that picture up and just s tell people to caption what mom is saying. Yes, right? Yes. Like, there's yeah. so many things she could what be saying right mom now. Say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a great. And the little sweat drop on the dad's forehead. He's like trying to oh, make yeah. it work out. This oh, isn't that's awesome. going the way it was supposed to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this yeah. is why I love your guys' like illust. I think you guys work really great with your illustrator because everything that you put in your book, he really does a good job at at putting in the pictures. It's like, you can kind of see even from the illustrations what, you know, that, that page is gonna be talking about, which is awesome. Um, let's see, there's another one, five, I think. That kind of, like going off of that, that kind of goes back to Mike and I's uh, background as filmmakers, because truthfully, even when, like, when I was going to film school and when you were learning in the beginning, like, I loved films growing up, but when you got to that place where you wanted to make films, they always tell you to watch a film and mute it. And if you can mm. still follow the story just by visual, you've made a great film. So it kind of went for the same thing. It was like, listen, don't read any of things we've written, any of the story and just look at the pictures and can you still follow the story? And that's what we were going for. Wow. Well, it worked out yeah. for sure. It's it's entertaining. I mean, even yeah. just, you know, I mean, the books are entertaining altogether, but even like the pictures are, they do a great job at explaining what it's going to be. Yeah. Saying. And if, if, if Mike wasn't sleeping right now, he'd chime in too, just to let you know. <laughs> I, uh, Jake? I was, I was, I was taking a couple of moments of REM during your discussion. I was getting into my full <laughs> REM back <practice> today. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Let's move on to number five. Oh. Okay. So this is a good one. Yes. Scary. So go ahead, guys. Explain this one. <laughs> Once again, the mom. Um, right. <laughs> so, so this is another really good photo. At, at first, when we saw this one, 
I wasn't sure if it was too scary, but then but then I looked around and it's it's really not that scary. It, it is a very mysterious photo if if taken out of context. But here we have the children who have just arrived at school, and the health and safety minions who play a large role in this book. Uh, they are taking the children's t temperature, and mom mom is a little bit concerned like is this a, an et scenario with hazmat <laughs> here like she she doesn't really uh she, she doesn't really know how to deal with this like uh i i can't imagine a scenario where a mom would drive her kids to school and then this is this is the scenario so it's a very draconian type feel at these uh these kids uh elementary school but um, but yeah, Federico did a great job with this one as well. Yeah, I mean, it's it hits home for sure for I think a lot of parents. Yes, it does. <laughs> right now, it's like you you are literally sitting there watching your kids get, I mean, their temperatures checked. I mean, I went out to dinner the other night and like they like put this thing up to my forehead and it feels really weird to have some, you know, like temperature oh, yeah. check and like it's like yeah. Ah. <laughs> Like, whoa, they did okay. that to me two days ago. I was going in for lunch and they stopped me at the at the door and they put it against my neck. It felt <laughs> really weird. I know. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, it was very strange. Yeah. By the way, my Farrell, anytime you can fit the word draconian into a conversation, I loved it's that. really impressive. It's very impressive. <laughs> Are you saying that because I've 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 wiggled it into a couple of uh which I, I don't think wiggled it in should ever be used. I think draconian is okay, but I, I wiggled that term into a couple of uh, <laughs> interviews now. I'm really impressed. <laughs> it fits. I mean, it does fit. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. The, the suits, though. Yeah, I, I can't get the over suits. the suits. Like, that is... <laughs> Those big eyes. So classic. And that, oh, is yeah. the, that is the first thing I think about is it takes me back to E.T. Like, that... For real. Exactly. And, and that was like... When when Mike had come, because Mike had come up with the idea for this, the first thing I thought of was ET, and I just started sending him pictures from ET. I was like, "Dude, look at these people!" When they're like testing ET for stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so uncomfortable. Oh, it's crazy the times we live in right now. Yes, it is. <laughs> it really is. But yeah, this really is great is. because kids need to see this. I mean, because this is the reality of what the world is right now, unfortunately. So. Yeah you know, great prepping for, for kids and parents in a humorous way once again. So, yeah, um, and, and like that, the thing is when we first came up or actually through all the, uh, the ideas that we had for the second book and we had come on this and come to this one, we started reaching out to a few friends who have children and started telling them what our ideas were. And they all were like, week to week the concept changes of what we're supposed to get ready for by taking our kids into class like are they going to get tested are they going to get this now they can't go over here now they can't do this and they were like we we explain it to our children and then a week later we get another email from the school and everything's okay. changed yeah so we basically especially with these guys it's like we tried to come up with the most absurd, crazy ideas that would happen <laughs> of taking your kids to first grade. We're like, yeah, and then there's hat hazmat suits, guys, and they're testing everybody, and it's really uncomfortable. But it's, oh, yeah. That was going to be my next question, though, was like, how did you guys, because you had to make this story a while back, but I don't know how you guys hit it right on the head. I know. Other than this, the hazmat suits, which make it funny as crap, <laughs> you know, they, they do... <laughs> They do test the kids when you know just like that yeah. when they go into the school yeah. so it's like talking about being yeah. ahead of the time and hitting it right on the nose that's pretty awesome yeah awesome job ahead of the time. <laughs> yeah, jake jake and i are actually from the future in a bill and ted sort of way so, well hello uh, marty and doc yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Are you telling but our, me but our... we invented a time machine? <laughs> <laughs> our time machine only goes ahead six months, though, so it's really not that effective. 
<laughs> hey, well, is there but... any way you guys can tell me when my kid, my older kids are going to move out? or was, <laughs> Is there like an extra fee yeah, in yeah. there? Write a book about it. How about that, please? <laughs> yeah, seriously. There you go. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so now I'm looking at number six. Mr. Han. Is it oh, Mr. Han Shin? Yes. <laughs> the yeah. teacher. Mr. Han Shin. So this guy very quickly became my favorite character in both of the books. Um, so, I don't. again, I don't want to give too much away about this character, but this is their first grade teacher who I'm not going to tell you what he changes his name to, but Mr. Han Shin is uh, first and foremost uh, a model, and then second, he's a school teacher. And yeah. he, he definitely makes that very clear with all the children and parents as they come <laughs> in, that he's a supermodel first and a children's <laughs> teacher second. I mean, but I mean, if you look at him, look at his dapper clothing. I, mean, I he noticed. Is, I yeah, mean, he's dressed to the nines. He should be walking on the red incredible. carpet right now. Yeah. Totally. I think I think in his mind he is walking down the red carpet. Yeah. How do you guys come um, up with these like a, little details that are just so they just make it so much more exciting? I don't know, a model as a teacher? A COVID fashionista. <laughs> yes. A COVID That's we'll... fashionista. <laughs> That's genius. I love um, it. Mike and I come up with a lot of these because we're both clinically insane. So uh, that, that always helps us out that we're both crazy people that don't live in the real world. But yeah. Yeah, it, it, is, it, is, it is kind of uh, interesting, our creative process. Uh, like one of us will think of a dumb idea like, oh, Mr. Han Shin, we should call him Mr. Handsome. It's like, yeah, yeah, that... That makes complete sense. Let's go into the book. <laughs> yeah, there's, exactly. There's very, we don't have like a quality and control control person that's like, uh, that's a terrible idea, or that's 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 <laughs> crazy. Here. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think, that, I think that, Sorry. Go ahead. I'm just. I said. I think that's what makes your book so fun. You know, is because they there are some random things that are in the book, but it's more exciting that way, in my opinion. We love <laughs> we love living in the world of zany. Zany works very well that's for Mike word. and I. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> very yeah. cool. Oh man! All right. So the next one. I think we have two more on here. Oh, uh, we have. Uh, how about eleven? That yeah. <laughs> yeah this one's great um COVID be gone. so we so this picture here uh the dad isn't really working too hard the dad is now unemployed and uh he has no intention of going back to work uh, that's the thing it's like he, he could he's not he's not like most of the parents out there if, if they've lost jobs that's that's a very serious situation but this dad he lost his job presumably but then he doesn't want to go back to work at all because he's just been playing basketball with uh with the morning news anchor john apple so <laughs> they are they're in the process of sanitizing this basketball with a couple of uh our our own comedic brands uh that we created so the top one is covid be gone the second one is rona killer and and that's what we really love. We we, we like the idea of um, creating these these awkward brands, like what you see in like The Simpsons. There's like Duff Beer. So if you look at our <laughs> first and our second book, like we we'll talk to Federico and we'll say, hey, we want it to kind of look like this, but give it a silly name. And then and then he usually doesn't create the names. We usually have to come up with it. So that's that's always a fun experience. Awesome. <laughs> Rona be gone. I need some of that. Yes. I want to be gone. And then the last one we have, it looks like number 12. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this is the mom coming to pick the, the kids up after their first day of school. And, of course, when when you read the book, you'll, you'll realize the first day of school did not go as planned for the children. Um, <laughs> dude, by the way, I love the angle of this shot. Yeah. Like, this 
the total film shot if you look at this. Yes. I love that angle. But yeah, so and, and this one too, you can see the minions and you're not as scared of the minions as you are in the first one where they're they're pointing the like the temperature gauges through the windows. They're more goofy characters here. Yes. And, and we got everybody wearing face masks. But yeah, this is the you can tell by the kid's face. And the mom's so happy. Yeah, your first day of school and the kids are the kids are not feeling so happy because it didn't really go. <laughs> yeah. They you know, wanted. I have to say, and I'm really glad that you guys chose not to have the mom wearing a mask because I noticed that right away because you can see her emotion. And that's what kids, yeah. you know, they want to see their mom at the end of a school day. They don't want to see their mom with a mask on. Especially after a day like that. Yeah. She has a huge yeah. smile on her face. So it's like even if their day went, you know, not so good as planned. She's yeah. there waiting for them with a big smile on her face. So just saying that was yeah. a great, um, great oh, way thank to, you. to put that for sure. Um, yeah. And I think that those are the visuals that we have. So thank you for going through that with us. Um, oh, wh what are your guys' thoughts on everything um, so far? I mean, have you gotten any feedback on your second book yet? Yes, uh, everybody <laughs> loves it except for apparently one person, some some dude that uh, Jake despises that lives in uh, Colorado that left a negative what? review on Amazon. Um, <gasps> he presumably no, doesn't I'm even convinced. have kids. Yeah, exactly. I'm convinced he doesn't have kids and he bought it for himself. And he's like, nah, the book, uh, it's not really my style. It's like, this what? is a children's book, man. It's a children's book, yeah. He, Did he, he say he, that on the review yeah. that it's not his style? Yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, I saw yeah. it on the news and I bought it, but I thought there'd be a lot more like humor with the masks. Uh, not really my cup of tea. And it's like, dude, you probably <laughs> read like John Grisham and you switched over hey. to one of our books and you're upset. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude. You're 47 years old. This book isn't about you. Right. I'm convinced so as well. Each. I mean, I, there's no way in my mind that you could not like these books. No. There's no, no way. And I'm, I'm spending all, we should be working on our third book, but I'm spending all my time and money on finding out who that guy was <laughs> so I can track it down. <laughs> Let us know yeah, when yeah. you find him. Let us know. Yeah, for sure. We'll all go together. <laughs> yes. We'll all go together. Yes. And we'll don't, just don't just worry. He'll him yep. and go, shame, yeah. shame, <laughs> shame. I'll shame him. I was going to say, Jake, I was going to say, don't worry. He'll be in the news. You'll hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's called, I, I, at least a little street term for you. It's called 25 to life. Oh. <laughs> Okay, got it. <laughs> I felt I felt so straight out of Compton. I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> hardcore. Let's get yeah. this guy. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, so you guys are saying I, you know, I know we're running short on time, but I want to. You mentioned a third book, so I just gotta ask. So that is that. in the mix. I did a third hear one. That. I did hear that. Good catch. Uh, it's not in the mix. I mean, the idea is being tossed around. We are going to do a third book. Um, luckily, we don't feel as as rushed as we were with the first two. So yes. we're, we have a few ideas that we're tossing around right now. We're also kind of looking out how we would uh, approach Disney Plus or Nickelodeon to do a, a children's show. That would be amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we've got like we've got some some good friends who actually work for Disney. Uh, so and the the thing is with these books, you usually have to put together an outline. You have to put a pitch deck together, and it's like we've written two pitch decks, so we've wow. already got the two first episodes done. But yeah, so we'll see. That would be fun to to do a film or a TV show. I think it'd be more of a TV show. But as for now, we're just focused on the the third book. Well, you guys definitely have the credentials in the background to do something like that. So, I mean, it would definitely keep me on keep my subscription with Disney Plus. Seriously, just seriously. So. Oh man, I'm That's excited why now. We're doing it, Mike. 
That's why we're doing <laughs> it. We're doing you. it for you, man. Yes. That's it. Mic <laughs> drop. I'm out. <laughs> Mic <Yeah>. drop. <laughs> Can you oh. can you send can you send an email to them? Uh, say hey, listen, guys, I'm gonna cancel this subscription unless you pick up this uh, yeah. this TV. <laughs> I'll tell them, look, I'm gonna cancel the subscription. I'm gonna put it all over my podcast and my social yeah. media. And you know what? You gotta have them on there. Yeah. And I won't. You know what? I'm gonna blackmail them. Let's go to blackmail. Them. Just black, That's a good idea. Blackmail Disney. <laughs> Does that will go very well? Yes, it will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, thank you guys so much. You guys are always so much fun to have on here and to interview. And yeah, always an honor. Always an honor. We wish you the yeah, best of luck with it's everything. And thank uh, you guys so much for having us on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, don't forget to get. Don't forget yeah. to get both of their books, everybody. Yep. I assure you, it's well and worth it. When we when we do the third book, we got to come back on. Please Absolutely. Do. Please do. Absolutely. Yeah. And then when you do your guys. your sh new show on Disney Plus, we'll have you on then as well. Yeah. Let's do it. Because Boom. I love I love Disney. <laughs> I love Jake yes. and Mike. Woo. Keeps my parent my kids busy. So <laughs> oh, awesome. All right. Well, you guys have a great rest of your day and we look forward to our next interview with you guys. Yes. Thank you so much. Remember oh, to check you out so much, our socials, um, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And remember to check out Lily and Timmy go back to school and their, their first book, Lily and Timmy's super awesome, incredible COVID-19 birthday. And you can find it on Amazon. Way to knock it out, Elise. Yeah, thank you. See you later. <laughs> All right. Bye guys. <laughs>